Hey guys, it's Alolan. I'm here with a very fast gaming video because this game is very quick to beat. It is, I believe, truly the last Sailor Moon game <laughs> that I have in my collection to show you guys. So I needed something to record. I knew this one was nice and quick. And um, just in case Miss Serenity Whispers didn't see the last one, hopefully she runs into this one. Um, so that was me just changing the settings because I learned from my last video, as you may or may not remember, to change the setting because it naturally starts on hard mode. <laughs> so I switched it down to easy this time so that I could uh, beat it comfortably for you guys. Um, cause I am not good at fighting games. Um, I've never really been good at them. I, I used to play, uh, a Super Nintendo game when I was a kid called Killer Instinct and I would always insist on being the character Orchid because she was the only one that was a guaranteed female and uh, I've always had a weird thing about that as a gamer um, I always need to assert my femininity in game modes like I know some people do a lot of gender swapping specifically so they don't get harassed because guys sometimes like to troll girls and be sexist and stuff when you're in online gaming but uh i i really insisted i i refused to play male characters like even now if i play a game of i don't know like league of legends or something i unless i'm in aram all random all mid in which which is like a game mode in which your character is selected for you for those of you who don't play um, if I'm choosing my own character, I always uh, pick a female character, like, every time. That's just always been a weird thing with me. Princess Peach all the way, and Mario Bros, and, uh, and, and female characters in, in everything else. Um, but anyway, that tangent aside, this game is obviously a, uh, a fighting game. And I played Killer Instinct as a kid, but I was never really like great at it. I would set it on the easiest possible mode, and I would um, I would still like barely beat the final boss kind of thing. Now this game I have some basic experience in, and I did play um, tournament mode, which is a kind of a cool feature of this. You can basically get a bunch of friends, and it sets up a tournament of up to eight people and you each play a different sailor scout and you can have like a they set it up in a not a round robin but like a single round elimination tournament which is kind of fun so i used to play the tournament mode with friends occasionally uh, when i was much younger and uh, so i kind of had practiced this a little bit and with most of my games i try to beat it with all the available characters at least once so actually, um, in this case, I didn't intentionally pick Sailor Moon. I was watching Netflix at the time, and I just clicked ahead, forgetting that it was the character selection screen. I had actually intended on playing Chibi Moon, but oh well, <laughs> you guys get to see me play Sailor Moon for a change, because I almost never do. Because she's, although she was obviously one of my favorites as a kid, now not so much. And I mean, Venus was always my favorite, right? So Venus and Chibi Moon. But, uh, yeah, so I do know some of the combos, and you'll see me occasionally throughout this game just kind of stand there sometimes and look like I'm punching the air. And that's because I'm trying to remember the old combos that I used to know to get the special attacks off. So pretty quick I figure out the Moon Tiara one, and I think I've already used it a few times in this video. Um, I know how to do the throws. So Sailor Moon has two throws. One is like an actual throw. Um, where she kind of launches the other person to the other side of the screen and the other one is like a weird headbutt thing so that one that you just saw there was the actual throw and that was the tiara and the headbutt throw i don't know if you'll see it but it's not really a throw it's just a similar button combination to a throw uh and she basically just like whacks her head against the opponent it's kind of weird but uh, yeah, I know how to do the throws and I know the tiara. And at some point I accidentally use the scepter, um, which is her strongest, arguably her strongest attack, um, or at least her, her strongest common attack. And 
I, I couldn't remember the exact combination. It's a much longer combination than the tiara. So I use it by accident once, I think, fighting Sailor Pluto later on in this game. And I'm sorry about the graphics. On my end, it looks like you're not seeing all of them. It looks like some frames might be dropped or something. Um, so sorry about that. But you see most of the attacks at least once. Um, but yeah. So those are two special abilities. And in this game, there are basically like ultimate abilities, but I've never been able to get any of them to work. So you're, you're going to see at some point uh, Chibi Moon or Mini Moon use her ultimate ability. Um, and now as I'm recording this, I think it might be tied to uh, life total. So you can only use your ultimate ability if you've been beaten up a fair bit already. If you're at full health, it won't let you use it. Or it could be that it's related to the opponent. There's the head beat down. Um, it could be related to opponent life, ta life total, so they're intended to be like finishers. I'm not 100% sure, but I've never been able to get them to work. I think it's partially because I play with a keyboard. I don't have, well I guess I do have my USB controller, but it doesn't work very well. I, the left button seems to stick. Uh, yeah. So there's those as well, but I won't use those because I've never been able to get them to work. So at this point, I think I've beaten all the inner senshi, or inner sailor scouts as they call them. And I'll point out in this fight uh, where Mini Moon or Chibi Moon uses her ultimate ability. I think she's the only one who does, but all the characters have one. It's just a matter of, uh, I they rarely use it. I think Chibi Moon's Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon are the only two that I've seen use theirs. Um, Chibi Moon's, you'll see. Sailor Moon's, she does this weird, like, float into the sky thing. And, um, yeah, she floats into the sky and her locket starts to go. That was the ultimate. Now, on my screen, the graphics didn't show up, but what happens is um, Pegasus shows up. It's just like a, a pixelated image of Pegasus. And Sailor Moon goes up in the air and ha like her locket glows and you get a beam of light on the other person and they take stupid amounts of damage. Uh, but yeah, those are the, the ultimate finishers. I think Venus might have used hers in the battle actually. Hers is like a, um, a giant asteroid type thing comes up from out of the ground underneath the opponent. That was the scepter that I used by accident. Now the rest of the time you're going to see me try and get it, but only get the tiara. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So believe it or not, this game's almost done <laughs> at this point. I think we only have four more battles to go. I've been doing pretty well so far. So yeah, we have four more battles. We fight the outer senshi or outer sailor scouts, which is very literally um, represented by the outer planets of the solar system, as in the ones that are farthest from the sun. So we start off with Pluto, which I find is kind of an interesting choice, because she's usually more of a, a final boss type character. She's more mysterious than, like, Neptune and Uranus. Um, I actually, to be honest, I prefer the outer Sailor Scouts to the inner ones, um, in terms of playing them and... In terms of story, honestly, too, I find them more interesting. Although I do, again, hold a soft spot for Sailor Venus and uh, Sailor Mini Moon. But, uh, yeah, I, f I always found it interesting that Pluto was the first that you fight and not the last. Because she's the most like mysterious and cool and she's supposed to be the daughter of the god of time and stuff. But anyway, she's not too difficult as uh, we make short work of her here. And she's pretty fun to play in the tournament mode. Unfortunately, you can't play as the outer senshi in the story mode. I really wish that you could. Because um, what the story of this game actually is, as far as I can understand it, is a game about which sailor senshi gets the most fame or glory. So the senshis are all duking it out to have it be... Um, their name on the title screen. So when you win the game with different characters, which is why I wasn't originally going to play Sailor Moon for you guys, is the title of the game actually changes, and the title screen changes. So um, 
it no longer becomes Sailor Moon superstars. It's like Sailor Venus superstars or Sailor Mini Moon superstars, uh, which is which is kind of funny. And there's a couple games that do that. And this one and the one that preceded it also does that, but I can't get that game to work. So, uh, yeah, you can't play the outer outer senshi unless you're in a tournament or in practice mode or a versus mode, something like that. Uh, Neptune is usually a lot harder. <laughs> um, I'm being super spammy, as you can tell. Um, it's against a computer, so I don't really mind spamming. Against a real person, I wouldn't do that. That's just cheap. Um, but yeah, so now we play Uranus. Who is the final boss in the original one? Which I still find weird. I still say it should be Pluto. But I am not a Japanese game designer, as is evident. So <laughs> my opinion does not count. Uh, that's alright anyway. Uranus is, is pretty difficult. If she's on hard, because I, I beat this game on hard before. Um, before I realized how to switch the difficulty, basically. Um... She's absolutely brutal to beat on her. She's so much faster than you unless you're playing Mercury. And uh, yeah, she's, she's pretty tough. But when she's on easy, I find like she has one of the most evident curves. Like her difficulty seems to go way down on easy. Like she's super easy to beat when she's on an easier level. Um, there seems to be a really, really big gap between her easy and hard, whereas like, for example, Sailor Mars is feels like she's almost equally difficult slash easy to beat, no matter what difficulty setting you've put on the game itself. And now we're at my favorite, Sailor Saturn. She was um, like totally the coolest to me. I think she's awesome. And she's pretty much always who I play in the uh, tournament mode against friends and stuff, because I know all of her combos and stuff. I can make her very, very deadly. Um, and I like this addition of Sailor Saturn because she wasn't in the first, uh, the first game. And I feel like she makes a lot more sense as a final boss than Uranus. Uranus just seems like a lazy choice to me. Sorry, I keep nailing this point down. <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me, but it really made a difference <laughs> in my childhood. Uh, Saturn is who I almost always play when I do play this game, which I must admit is seldom since, like, I haven't played since probably high school at the latest. <laughs> <coughs> oh, please excuse the cough. And, boys and girls, that is the end of the video game. <laughs> so, uh, you see a brief little grading thing, and because I have it on easy, I get an A. Yes, I do get an A. Awesome. So I, I pass with flying colors. The only time Sailor Moon gets a good grade. And uh, that is it, folks. That is all she wrote. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Till then.